Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Logan and it's been a hot moment since I've sat down to film a video, let alone a guitar video. And surprisingly, I actually have been practicing more this semester than probably the past two or three. Ever since dropping out of music school, I've really been trying to learn how to fall in love with the instrument again and play because I want to and not just because I have to. Like if I'm having a really bad day, I'm not gonna force myself to pick up the guitar and then be miserable my whole session. So I try to be in like a decent mood when I have to practice. I haven't posted a three-year progress video like I plan to, and that's just because I feel like I'm so bad at remembering to film myself. Like, it's just not really natural to me, and the only way for it to become natural is for me to start doing it more, so I decided to start vlogging my experiences. At first, I wasn't really sure how I wanted to go about filming myself other than just progress videos, and I decided to just go with the flow and have it be more of a chill sit-down vlog where I talk about what I'm working on, the different pieces I'm looking at, and all the techniques that I'm currently studying. I've honestly been enjoying my practice a lot, and I feel like it's finally time to bring guitar back into my channel, so I hope you guys really enjoy this new series. I've recently been working on the Suzuki Guitar School Volume 5 book, and I've been looking at the pieces Vols Espanol by Ferrer, Maria Luisa Mazurka by Sagreras, and Minuetto Allegro by Sor. I was also able to join the guitar ensemble at my school, and the group that I'm in is with other guitar majors, and it's a primarily classical group. And I feel like this has really helped me falling in love with guitar again, because it's been like two or three years since I've actually been able to play with people in person, like when I was at music school, and it's such a great feeling. Not gonna lie, I feel like I have way more of a sense of guitar community here at University at Buffalo than I did at the Hart School, but that's just because there's more people in the guitar program because it's a school with like 30,000 people rather than like 3,000 people. And for that group, we're working on Danza Paraguaya and Cantabile. For Danza Paraguaya and my guitar ensemble, I play guitar three and that's the bass line and it really brings me such a throwback to when I play double bass in orchestra. Like, I feel like I haven't played like a soul bass line in so long and I really do miss it. I love it so much. In Cantabile, I think I'm pronouncing that right. I honestly have no idea. I play guitar two and it's kind of rough because the guy who's supposed to be playing guitar one has not come to any of our meetings yet. So we don't really know what it sounds like altogether. Like right now we only have two, three, and four. It's honestly just nice to actually look forward to having a performance. Like when I was a guitar major, I didn't even get to perform there because of COVID shutting everything down. So my final assessment was over Zoom. So now being able to actually perform live, I'm just so stoked for it. I know all of the ensembles are the opening pieces because I went to their guitar concert last semester, but I'm not really sure how they're gonna handle it this semester. The day after break, nobody showed up to ensemble other than me and our instructor who is a recent graduate and then he actually ended up just giving me a lesson he knows the suzuki book so he just had me play something and we talked about it and it was really really fun and little did i know he was gonna ask you if i wanted to perform a solo piece during the guitar concert and i was like hell yeah i do like i went to the concert last semester and it's a public university it's not going to be the same as a music school but it's still really really enjoyable to just go and hear other people play and thinking that i could be a part of it even though i'm not even a part of the guitar program like i'm not a major or a minor i'm just a rando coming in and joining i just didn't think that it was gonna happen and i'm just so excited for my solo, I decided to do Maria Luisa Mazurka by Sagreras, and I'm really excited and I was a little nervous about this piece at first because there just weren't things that were coming along the way that I wanted to, but me and my teacher really started focusing on my left hand rather than my right hand as well as playing with less pressure and I feel like that has literally changed the way I play so much. Like, I'm a very stressed out, intense person, so when I'm playing, I'm always squeezing my left hand notes so much, so then whenever I do slurs or I'm trying to play something nice, it just sounds so angry and stiff, and it's really hard to move my fingers, so we've been trying to work on relaxing the whole body, dropping the arm, making sure that I'm not going over the neck and just going out of the neck instead, and I feel like it has made such a big change. For the mazurka, I'm specifically also focusing on trying to play more legato, which I didn't realize was that hard. Like, I'm gonna include some clips of me playing this song throughout the past few months, and I feel like it has evolved so much. Like, I really, really liked this song from the beginning, but I felt like I just played it so staccato. Like, the beginning was just not smooth at all. Like, when I was doing the scale runs up, it was just like da 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 instead of da 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 da. 
and it just did not sound great and i've been focusing on playing slow and instead of preparing every single thing right immediately my teacher has been having me prepare right before i play the notes so that it sounds more legato and smooth but the thing is the whole piece isn't supposed to be legato like when we're not working on the melody those pieces can be staccato and i just love how this is coming along so i'm just really excited to fine tune this piece and get it sounding the way that i know i can play it and I honestly had no idea that I could get this piece to this level, especially when I look back a few months ago and I was just playing it a certain way. And I did think that I sounded good at that time. It's kind of like being blissfully unaware. Like when you don't know you should be doing something else, you think what you're doing is perfectly fine. And then when somebody points it out, you cannot stop thinking about it to the point, or at least for me, that I'm like, geez, I sound absolutely horrible. But I thought I sounded pretty decent today, so I really wanted to share with you guys how this piece is coming along and how much progress I've made over the past few months of working on it. remember my last little update where I said I'm actually enjoying playing guitar I've been really consistent actually playing almost every day well school kind of took a toll I had a bunch of exams all at once I was studying like crazy and I was at my part-time job five days a week so I had literally zero time to study and then I looked at the calendar I was like damn my performance is literally less than a week away and I have not touched the guitar in three weeks so I kind of went into a big panic mode I started trying to play again and I absolutely hated how I sounded so I really just need to do a deep dive with my teacher and figure out what can I do to get this where it was he pretty much told me I know how to play this piece I know how to do it well and I just need to refine it I'm not totally starting over so I just was playing the piece slow, making sure it actually sounded good, slowly revamping the speed, and then I was supposed to be ready for my performance. And not gonna lie, I did have a really, really late night the day before my performance, which wasn't good. I was running on like three hours of sleep, which absolutely sucks. So I wasn't in the best performance mindset. But you know what they say, the show must go on. I was working a really long time for this and I didn't want my lack of sleep to ruin it all for me.
If I'm gonna be honest, I absolutely hated my performance. It took me maybe a week or two to finally listen to myself playing because I just thought that I messed up so bad. Like, you know what they say, when you make a little mistake, the audience doesn't really notice, but you notice and you just need to go on. Like, I didn't have any moments where I absolutely stopped and I was like, oh shoot, I messed up or anything. But in my mind, like those little mistakes just felt like they were like 10 seconds long versus when you go back in the video and actually watch it, it's only like a second or two of a little blunder that nobody's going to care about. So during my next lesson, my teacher and I, we watched the video straight through. He congratulated me on my performance, told me that I didn't need to be as harsh on myself as I was being because the performance was a success. And then after all of that, we got it out of my head that it was an absolute disaster. We went back and actually looked at the piece looked at all of my mistakes and what happened and what was going on in my mind during those moments and how we can try to avoid that next time. The one thing I am really proud about from my performance was my first A section. I thought I killed it, like my dynamics were great and I was doing good. It did set me up for success for the rest of the piece, but then I got to the B section and I honestly didn't feel very confident that I memorized it, so I actually brought my music out. And then I was trying to go half off memory, half off the sheet music, and that was just not good because I feel like it really confused me. Like I should have just winged it and if I messed up, I messed up and had a memory slip or I should have just read off the music and looked a little bit less professional. But you know what? I tried to bring up both. I tried to do it all and I did have a little blunder, but it wasn't horrible. My first mistake was in the B section and I swallowed a note, but it wasn't horrible. I still had the same rhythm and it didn't throw me off and I kept moving along. The second mistake I had was that I bumped a wrong note and I feel like that was when my mind started to spiral and it really started to go downhill. From that point on, nothing I was playing had any dynamics whatsoever and my teacher was telling me that it was a result of mental barriers and this isn't the worst thing to happen. Like I didn't crash and burn or anything, but it did suck because I worked so hard on all of my dynamics and getting them to sound good. Once I finally finished the B section, I somehow got through it and I didn't have any memory slips, but I was not ready to start the A section again. And I really should have just taken a breath at the end of B and went back to A, but I didn't. I also had a little glitch in the A section where I was doubting myself. I didn't think that I could play the piece properly and I just made a mistake. But all of my mistakes were pretty experience based. I didn't actually have any memory slips where I was like, where am I? What am I doing? What am I playing? And to try and fix what went wrong in this piece for my next performance, sometimes you have to actually overcompensate. You need to make your dynamics louder because they might get swallowed up when you start to doubt yourself. And I definitely need to record myself more often and get more used to performing. Knowing how to practice a song versus knowing how to perform a song are completely different skills. I am not very used to performing in front of people and the last time that I performed in a college setting was like two years ago so this really was like my one shot deal. I don't have a lot of performances lined up so this was my one chance to actually show myself and it definitely added to some of the pressure that I had. The environment was also pretty unstable. We didn't have any sort of dress rehearsal and I honestly had no idea where to go on stage. I didn't know where to put my guitar, where the mics were going to be, where I was going to put my music. So it did throw me off a bit and those are kind of like the mental things that affect you before you even start playing. And when I think back to my most successful performance, we had like three different dress rehearsals and this was my Vivaldi concerto and I knew exactly where I was going. I knew what was going to happen and I knew I was going to kill it and I did. But when you're performing, you can't always control the environment around you. So you really just have to rely on yourself, be confident, and trust that you're going to perform the piece well. My solo performance was right before our two group pieces, and I feel like it really messed me up. I definitely felt like I was the weakest link, 
and I did not play my part out in Cantibile. I was part two and I did have a little solo section and you just couldn't hear me at all. I was just so scared to go crazy with my dynamics and I feel like it really ruined the piece. Like it wasn't a disaster, but I knew I could have done so much better if I was just more confident. But our other piece, Danza Paraguaya, I thought we actually did good on. We played it a lot slower than we had in the rehearsal, so I was able to really nail my bass line instead of rushing to keep up, which I felt like happened a few times during our rehearsals, which I was glad about that. When I look back at the performances, they were successful. I am happy that I got to have this experience and I was so grateful that I was able to be part of the guitar ensemble. I really hope I get invited back next year even though I'm not gonna be at UB at all. But I told them to hit me up when they're forming groups again because I would love to play again. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and seeing my progress from take one a couple days into Maria Luisa to me actually getting to perform the piece at college. I also hope that you guys enjoy the notes that I have throughout my performance because I'm really just trying to get better at pinpointing what I didn't like about a certain run rather than just saying, oh, that was horrible. I sounded like trash. Okay, but what about it did I not like? For example, in the A section, I didn't like how I played that note. It came out a little weird because my finger wasn't close enough to the fret and it caused a little buzzing. That's a lot better. From there, I can actually go back to that measure readjust what I'm doing with my fingers and get the right note that I wanted so that it doesn't happen next time and I can keep improving rather than just feeling bad about myself. I love you all so much. I hope to see you guys in the next video.